Hi, this is Jim's little boat. I'm Jim. About a month ago, we put the boat up on blocks, and I've actually done a few projects. But at the time, I went did a little walk around and thought I would share that with you. I wasn't really going to make a video at first. But there's some good information about paint and keel bolts and things like that. So I apologize for the sound. Here's a video of what the boat looks like after six months in very cold salt water in Puget Sound. The boat's up in the air, it's stable, it's safe. I feel good about crawling under there to work on the bottom. And I think that's one of the reasons the paint has lasted so long. I was able to really get to everything. Okay, well, we're under the boat kind of assessing the damage. There is the zinc anode. It's a year old, it's been in two seasons, obviously time to change. I don't know what it's protecting, but it must be protecting something. And we can see that the uh, muscles attach themselves to the cable. The raccoons must be gone, otherwise they would have eaten those and there'd be a little pile of shells. And we can see that the ablative bottom paint did a pretty darn good job. We need further scrubbing, of course, before we can repaint, but no marine growth at all. And believe me, in the cold waters of Puget Sound, that's a big deal. Bottom looks real good and up inside the keel housing no marine growth either, so the bottom paint works well. It's uh, some ablative stuff I buy from West Marine. There's a little owie up on the bow that needs fixing. That little gow in the keel is probably where it sat on the trailer and it was not in the V-block. So we'll want to sand that back, fill it, and uh, put some epoxy on it and then some bottom paints. Otherwise, that's an invitation to corrosion of the iron. The hanger bolts seem to be in good shape, but it's cheap and we're gonna take those out, replace them with some nice new stainless steel bolts and some blue Loctite. Other side looks good too, same treatment. Got some stains back here on the transom, nothing bad, not like last year. I don't know about this motor mount. Maybe I'll change it, maybe not. I don't know, it's just cosmetic. They're kind of expensive. I'll probably just leave it. Need to polish up the boarding ladder. Don't know what's best, but looks like not so swell. This is the year we're going to change out that nasty gate valve on the scuppers. Get rid of that valve that used to connect to the sink. I don't have any use for that at all. And probably I'll just take the tube for the winch cable out so I can work on that. I fully expect that when I put a wrench on that valve, I'm, the pipe is gonna come loose and I'll have a much bigger job than I want, but I've been lucky so far. It's time to get that changed out. It was pretty darn dry all summer. I got a little rainwater and that's where they see those few ounces of rainwater sitting down there. As soon as I turn this video off, I'll mop that out with a paper towel. We've already started to have our infestation of needles. This is the rail that the cabin top slides on, and that's going to have to come up because the forwardmost screw leaked during the summer. So we're going to have to take that off and rebed it. Dang, didn't have any other internal leaks that I know of. We'll take these cast aluminum spreader brackets and replace those with stainless steel we bought from Catalina Direct. That'd be kind of a pain, but Tony would be happy to help me with it. At a minimum, we're going to have to rebed this deck plug. I'll probably change it. The problem is that the wires are inside the fiberglass on the cabin top. So if we want to change the plug, we'll have to run new wires. I don't know. The uh, coax connector, even though it looks like crap, is in good shape. I tested it. We'll be adding a GPS knot meter to go right next to the Hawkeye depth sounder. The wiring's in place on the other side, but it will re involve removing the back panel inside the cabin. We'll try and fashion some sort of bracket that will fit in the slot here for the crib boards that will hold the uh, iPad which we use as a chart plotter. We're going to add one more jam cleat that points towards the cabin so that I can have my sail trimmer sit far forward in the cockpit when the wind is light. With all the work I've got to do on the boat inside the cabin, I'll be very grateful that I took the time to give myself a present and make these stairs to get in and out.